All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the Eminence in Shadow episode three. Uh, in the last episode, we were introduced properly to Sid. Um, that is what is what he's going by in this world. Of course, that was his name by his new isekai parents, uh, of which the mom is a body, um, but isn't doesn't that always happen? Um, yeah, he's put into this kind of aristocrat family. Uh, don't know where we've seen that before on the channel. Um, yeah, it seems like a really cool concept on uh, Isekai though. He has this older sister who is playing in that, oh, she's so much better than me, you know, she, she's the one that needs to go forward in the family, uh, all eyes on her. When in reality, uh, he is in fact a master when it comes to magic and probably, well, de definitely uh, swords playing and everything as well, could probably easily be a sister. Uh, and it turns out he runs this uh, organization, is it Shadow Garden, I believe? Um, yeah, shows him kind of getting all of his harem. Well, uh, a couple couple members, one member actually. Then it just time skips and boom, straight harem. Um, but yeah, he's very chaotic. I like that. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out for him and his squad. It's very interesting that um, I think someone made a comment. I can't remember what it was specifically, but uh, how his lies are potentially becoming real, uh, whether that be by luck or whether the world is creating them because of him i don't know uh this could be a plot point possibly in the actual is it light novel or manga i'm not sure um but obviously no spoilers if it is i want to know but yeah really really cool uh start to an isekai um it's gonna be fun to see this protagonist progress and then at the end of the episode we saw as well his group was saying we gotta go see you later whatever that means i don't know um but yeah looking forward to it looking forward to seeing him being like uh, as we saw him in the first episode as well uh, as an adult or it looked like an adult anyway um he just looked badass and i wanted to see like that kind of london-esque city look um, it was really cool but yeah anyway guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and uh, let's go right into this episode right now damn so the harem left for work oof is he older now or, or does he i can't tell Why do I feel like he's got the wrong idea here that he thinks they were just like, oh, we, we don't think the cult is real. But they actually do think that. What the hell is going on here right now? That's how he died? <laughs> what? I was wondering how the hell Truck couldn't off his ass. He did it to himself. Oh, we in the big city now. Let's go. He definitely looks older. He's like um, 15, 16. Well, he's got to be 15 if he's come to the capital. That's how it is, isn't it? Yeah, 15. Nice. Background character, eh? I like how he keeps referring to himself as that. Hey, we got some friends. Nice. Skell and Poe. So is his sister living on campus or is she living here? Ah, that answers my question. Thank you. He scored the worst? Really? Oh my god, is it going to be his sister? Oh no, different girl. Okay. So he's got to confess to her. Okay. Well, anime character, main character, so I'm sure he's going to do great. He's going to use like hypnosis or something. Oh, he's pretending to be frightened. <laughs> this guy. Tell me she's not actually going to like this. Uh, he's like, oh, she's not gonna, she's gonna, she's not gonna say yes to this. Of course not. Sh she's going to. This guy. What? Someone you can dominate? What does this mean? <laughs> For real, this guy is getting the, the main character fucking root. Let's go. And now everybody's looking at him. And he's no longer a background character. Great. What is it? What was it about him? Maybe she could like read his magic potential or something? I don't know. 
Yeah, he just moved him over to the other seat. Lol. This fancy ass meal. Yeah. Maybe she likes him because he's just not as, you know, upper class and all that bullshit. Bro, he's got his, like, a Sundari girlfriend or something, I swear. Useless lumps to the bitter end. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to give his full strength, because background character. Oh, he's fighting her, interesting. Oh, she just trash? Ah, okay, so she's to the to the book, or however the expression goes. She's just using exactly what she needs to. Mm, so she is not trash. Damn! It's like I'm looking at myself. Interesting. Is she just with him because this guy wants to be with her or something? Ah, uh, now he gets what gets what's going on. <laughs> Main character tier event. Lol. <laughs> well, at least we know what she's actually doing now. <laughs> she got your ass. She's funny. I like her. All Sid wants is a peaceful life. Just like his mentor, Yoshikage Kira. What's this? Money? I'm confused. Did she just disrespect him or what? <laughs> this guy! That <laughs> stretch is so funny. Did he just bark? Yeah, Chainsaw Man? We are getting a lot of main characters that like to bark this season. <laughs> and, but she's actually going to fall for him in some way, because that's how it be. The wait and see approach, yeah. I mean, you're not going to be together forever, so... Where is she going with him right now? Is he going to his door? In what way? Do you just not like the pompous types? Did you just bite through that ice cream? What a demon. A very negative way to judge people. <laughs> True. Somebody who is perfect. There's, there's something underlying there. Exactly. It's got to be some weird shit. Why are these motherfuckers just biting into ice cream? You psychopaths. Yeah, that's because that's all he's showing you. That's what's going to make a fall for him. Is that it? Oh, his sister. Her sister. I probably infuriate her. The vilest of scum. I mean, he's honest. And his style is her style as far as she knows. He's pretty damn cool. I like him. Y'all good in here? <laughs> the suspense. Goodbye. That's what you think, mate. Good for nothing, loser. <laughs> Would you now? Would you? Oh, y'all waiting for me? You gonna jump me? What's up? You wanna fuck around and find out? Come on, then. Oh god, where did she go? I bet he did it. I bet he fucking kidnapped her. Alright, so that was The Eminence in Shadow, episode 3. Um, very good episode. <laughs> I like this introducing of this uh, Princess Alexis. Alexia? Alexa? Shut up. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good episode. <laughs> she was obviously using him, which is he was fine with. Uh, fine with, sorry. Even though it kind of got in the way of his background character life. Um, but it's fine. It's uh, worked out. However, now she's gone missing. I feel like this Zenon guy kidnapped her. 
I don't know, maybe. Kind of like what happened in the, his previous life with the girl, the most popular girl that got kidnapped. Um, something along those lines, maybe. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to find out what happened. Maybe he's going to save her. Actually, you know what? I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen. I feel like he's going to save her. Xenon was the issue. That's his flaw. She falls in love with him. He gets Isekai again. No, he won't. But, you know, that's that's how I, what I think has happened here. Maybe. I don't know. That could be a really good guess. Don't tell me if that is so. But yeah, uh, overall a very good episode. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the episode. Have a nice rest of your day. And peace out.